Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday, August 3rd, 2017. This is the Daily Mix TV's Morning Edition. So when you're the new kid on the block and your brand is trending, that doesn't mean take your foot off the gas. It means slam on the accelerator. Now, sadly, Snapchat is learning that lesson the hard way as they've had a lot of internal issues, a stock that's on the decline in a severe way, and they've lost momentum with Generation Y and Z, the two coveted demographics that helped Snap become so popular. According to a story on CNBC yesterday, a number of ad media agencies they spoke with said that the problems with the company are leading more of their clients to abandon it, stating that interest among brands is flat at best or down. Now this includes a lack of measurement data which advertisers need desperately, disinterest among young social media celebrities which is needed for proliferation, and then confusion ultimately about what the platform is. There's also a general indifference towards ad agencies apparently. Now in business you want to empower specific groups of influential audiences to promote your brand, both in terms of the consumer and the trade. In this case, Snap really should be courting ad and media agencies who can bring them scores of new advertisers, certainly, potentially, investors. Now, not to mention that with a platform like Snapchat, you need to use both non-traditional and traditional marketing tactics to promote, and you've got to be consistent at it. They launched Spectacles in the fourth quarter and then followed it up with nothing. There's a reason why Zuckerberg and company is trouncing Snap with the Instagram platform. They embrace brands and they know how to market effectively. Now, the Dow closed tw over 22,000 yesterday, largely thanks to a 5% bump in Apple price stock due to the tech giant's better than expected earnings. So they sold more iPhones, iPads, and Mac computers than they had thought and it stunned Wall Street. They continue to dominate the market because Steve Jobs created a lifestyle brand around their products. I mean, look, when I was a kid, the only thing you saw a line for were to buy tickets for a hot concert or to go to a movie on opening night. But today you see lines around the block when Apple releases a new anything and expect that to happen a lot in the fourth quarter as Apple releases the hotly anticipated new iPhone, the HomePod, and I'm sure a slew of other surprises. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because as a marketer, you need to build something bigger around your brand. Apple in the 80s was nothing more than second fiddle to Microsoft and PC makers. Yeah, sure, they were the go-to for education and design, but they didn't have a real point of difference and it didn't bring mass saturation. It wasn't until Steve Jobs returned to Apple after being gone for a few years that things began to change. So first it was the new look and feel of higher end design for their computers. Then it was the iPod, the iPhone, the App Store, iTunes. You guys know the rest of this story. But it was the lifestyle around the brand that Steve created that led Apple to become the biggest company in the world. Now Mountain Dew is taking 100,000 fans on a drive with Dale Earnhardt Jr. on October 15th to say goodbye to the NASCAR legend as he retires at the Talladega Super Speedway. Uh, Mountain Dew launched a microsite, Ride with Junior, where fans can register in the first 100,000 names will actually be placed on Earnhardt Jr.'s number 88 Chevy for his last race. So essentially, Mountain Dew is giving fans a chance to be a part of history with this promotion. Now, of course, when you register, you got to opt in for all of their newsletters and promos, which is great for Mountain Dew. Promos like this are brilliant because it not only gives fans a meaningful experience, it delivers a real connection for the sponsor and in return, real data for the sponsor. Marketers often make the mistake uh, in sponsorship that all they have to do is spend on the sponsorship fee and maybe some advertising around it. But if you aren't marketing the sponsorship with one and a half times the initial investment in unique ways that tie back to your brand DNA or your positioning, you may as well burn the money you just spent on the sponsorship fee itself. Now to note, the PepsiCo owned brand has been a sponsor of Earnhardt's for a decade while Pepsi has been sponsoring the Hendrick Motorsports team for 16 years. There's nothing like a long and successful sponsorship. I'd also like to take a second to say a very happy birthday to Hill Story Digital's head, Todd Tilly. Happy birthday, buddy. My name is Sean Patrick Hillman. I'm the CEO of Hill Story Marketing. I'm also the editor-in-chief of The Daily Mix TV. We'd love to hear from you, so please email us at thedailymixtv at gmail.com. Have a great rest of your morning, guys. We'll catch you this afternoon.